I've read Mallory, yes. But, uh... You'll recall Mark has a big downer on a knight called Tristram, then. Bruno's upstairs. No, he's not. <laughs> That's a big flush. He has minutes Whoa, to relax, live. lady. <laughs> it's just an underwear. What's going on, guys? It's Aqua76 Gaming here, and we're back with a more broken sword. We're gonna, we need to repair it. Anyway, where we left off, uh, I think Nick, N Nicole, uh, got arrested, framed. You know, they people think that. Well, not people. The old lady thought <laughs> she was the murderer. Stupid old lady jumping to conclusion by just staring behind that door thinking that yeah She's definitely the murderer because she went through that door And now let's just creepily go up to this Pound of dude so we can talk to him and ask what's going on Sh Just be gentle. Hey, buddy You want to talk? Okay, now can I? There's a sneak option. Yeah, how you doing? Wanna talk? Good morning. Oh, that's easy for you to say, isn't it? Well, yeah, isn't it? No, sir, it is not. What's so bad about it, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. I might. Not possible, sir. Unless you're a father, and you're not, are you? Well, no, but how did you know? Look at you. Callow face, unfurrowed brow, air of profound optimism. Excuse me? <laughs> Don't, don't you tell, uh, talk about my look, and don't ever judge my looks. I look handsome. Mm, yeah, well, let's talk about myself then. What? Tell me more. My name's George Stobart. A Yank, eh? Colonel Buckley. Rutland Lancers. Third Battalion. Retired. You know, I had a feeling you might be a soldier. Can take the fella out of the army. Can't take the army out of the fella, eh? It could have been that. It might also have been the aura of latent violence that surrounded him. So he's a violent person, that's why he got kicked out of the army? I don't know, I don't know the army business, I'd rather not go to the army. So just what is it that only a father would understand? I could tell you, but you wouldn't comprehend. Try me, I kept sea monkeys once. I mean, how different could it be? Very <laughs> well. Are you aware of the annual Glastonbury Popular Music Festival? The Glastonbury Popular Music Festival? Hmm. That's one of the most popular music festivals on the popular music festival calendar. My daughter, Melissa, attended it this year. Against my wishes, of course. You're not a fan, huh? My dear boy, joining a throng of semi-clad youngsters, gyrating in a mindless hypnotic trance to music which turns their hearts into yo-yos, all the while feasting on hippie fast food, strange alcoholic concoctions, and mind-bending hallucinogenic substances is not my idea of fun! Whoa, bring it on. I beg your pardon? I <laughs> said, did your daughter enjoy it? She didn't come back. Ah, have you told the police? This isn't a job for the police. Melissa called me to say she wouldn't be coming home. She called from a Glastonbury number. She's still here somewhere. And if she's taken up with someone, well, I've got my Purdy in the Land Rover. Purdy? Twelve bore, double barrel, vermin for the extermination of... Christ! Seemed like a violent person, and no wonder you got kicked out of the army. Uh, what's the real big deal about the music? It, music is good. Uh, listen, okay, I get the alcohol part, but uh, come on, let your daughter live free. I don't know how old she is, so there might be a small chance that she might be 17. <laughs> then I don't mind, then I don't care if he goes in there kicking down the door to a random dude telling him to fuck up. Uh, let's see. You know, sh let's show him the ID. He's not gonna even know about him. Does this ID card mean anything to you? It's not yours. Never seen the chap. Did you find it? Yeah. Then you should hand it in at the police station. Smartass. <laughs> Recognize this? Glastonbury Tor. What do you know about the Tor? Good place to deploy artillery. What? Right. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Wow, okay. You're not gonna even give me a little historic about the place. It was <laughs> Colonel Butley. Without a regiment behind him, he looked kinda lonely. Tch! <laughs> Aha, not married. 
Piece of shit. Wait, what do you got the daughter? Oh, shit. Your wife left you, didn't, didn't she? Sad. Shit happens, right? Sometime, uh, someday your girlfriend you might just leave you behind. <laughs> Cause you smell like rotten yogurt. What's in here? No. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> the place looked empty. That means nobody's at home. Can we go to the alleyway? What? Oh. Oh, hey. I'm back here. Wait, what? Wait, wait a minute. You son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, is Glossenburg a thing? Like, is that actually a place in real life? No buskers, circulars, hawkers. I thought I'd leave them alone. What, what if I try opening them? I'll open the door. I guess that being the middle of the morning, most people were at work. So it's morning, 8 o'clock? Anybody home? Nobody was in. Or maybe they just didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> a weirdo asking for to be let in freely. Glossenburg is such a friendly place. What the hell is this? Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> I'm checking all the doors, guys. I need to know if there's a way to enter in that Glossenburg's uh, buildings. You never know what you're gonna find, you know, this game is a uh, mystery quiz, well, quiz and the detective games. Where can I go then? I'm not gonna enter anybody, you know what, I'm not gonna bother other people. When I see a sign, that means I'll go in. Like this one over here. There's a sign. I'm gonna go in. Let's see if they are friendly. The store was called the Cosmic Fairy. My mind boggled. Whoa. I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna go in just to see what it is. Anybody home? <laughs> oh my god, you're a hippie. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's, what's back here? On the wall was a chart telling me everything I ever wanted to know about pentacles. It could have been a lot shorter and done the same job. I didn't want any of the creepy little booklets. Is that for Nikolai? <laughs> no, wait. Uh, how do I... No, I don't want to... Wait, do I... I still have the metal rod on me. What the fuck? I carry a metal rod all the way to Glossenburg? You kidding me? Uh, it's... I guess it's useful. In certain situations, are you gonna fight? You, is that your weapon? Prefer gun. Uh, can I swap? I forgot how to like, like swap to the yeah. <laughs> the, the dude probably at the back is like watching me. What is he doing? <laughs> uh, oh no! I can. I didn't want any of the creepy little booklets. Oh, never mind. So I did ignore it. Can I look at a different subject? Uh, no, not that. What's the button for it? Okay, there we go. It was a chart about pentacles. I didn't want to take the chart. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is there? Enchanted Avalon. Lays of a mystical age. Well, this looked like big fun. Ah, you found my little herb. I guess for an oeuvre, it is quite small. What do you mean? It's a book of poetry. It could be any size. Nice cover. Thank you. My choice, <laughs> actually. I barely I understand. self-published. The big publishers just don't understand spirituality. What's the deal with the coins? Joseph of Arimathea bringing the Holy Grail here. Arthur and Guinevere being buried here. And, of course, St. Michael defeating the dragon on the tour. Each silver coin commemorates an event in Glastonbury's history. History? Sounded more like folklore to me. Silver, you say? Well, the silver plate is. <laughs> I have a dear friend who does them for I me. look depressed. Christ. I don't, be I don't believe in this bullshit where dragons came to Earth and you just made up the story of some random dude who died here killed the dragon. 
Do I take it? For there was lightning in my blood, my dark Morgana, my own Morgana. Oh, there was lightning in my blood. Red lightning lightened through my blood, my dark Morgana. What do you think? Uh, pretty good. Yes, I was rather pleased with it myself. Uh, indeed. You jerk. The stand contained postcards, pictures of local beauty spots, the usual stuff. And suddenly, there it was. A stack of cards just like the one I'd found in the Congo. I was on the right trail. All you have to do is find a store that was selling this product, and there's your evidence. I hadn't come here to send postcards. Yes, you did. What's the reason you came to Blossomburg after the m mad scientist's death? These were the kind of books that sat and glowered at you. Casting the runes. The real Eltdown shards. Karnaki, the ghost finder. Even the air felt cold near them. I would like to read a ghost finder. I didn't want any of the books. Not my idea of a holiday read. Ask Nikolai! Or whatever her name is. I completely forgot her name. <laughs> what the hell is this? Inside the case was a star-shaped gizmo. The little card by it said, Elder Sign. Guaranteed proof against Elder Gods and Outer Entities. Could have used that a few years ago. Wait, I haven't played the game, so I don't know about it. Oh, no. I thought the star was cute, but I didn't really need it. It could make a good decoration for your house. I mean, I don't like these rituals stuff, poetry, but... You could make a good decoration, making it look like a religious at your own home. What's in here? Private. Hey! Customers are not allowed upstairs! Right. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk to you. The guy looked like the world's uptightest hippie. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Welcome to the Cosmic Fairy. I am Tristram Hillage, the proprietor. May I help you? I hope so. Okay, let's... I don't want to talk about Glossberg Tour. Let's, let's get to know him. How's business? Rather good, actually. Seems quiet. You just missed the rush. What kind of people shop in a place like this, anyway? People with open minds. Do you keep your mind open to new possibilities? Oh, constantly. Some of the things I'd seen, I'd be a fool not to. So money hoggers, I don't want to buy anything, I just want to get to the point, talk about the scientist's death and sorrow, whatever, that Voldemort shit. Have you ever seen the guy on this card before? No, I haven't. Hmm? But he bought this from you. Do you stock these postcards? Yes, one of our exclusive best sellers. Do you supply any of the other shops with these? No. That's what exclusive means. Really? Such I never a knew jerk. That. Evidently. How else may I illuminate your path? Does the name Bruno mean anything to you? Hmm. Bruno. Bruno. No, I don't think so. Really? Yes, really. You sure? Of course I'm sure. I've never even met anyone called Bruno. You seem very positive. His tone made me immediately suspicious. Why are you gonna hide the fact? Why? <laughs> so, I'm looking for Bruno. Not the scientist, he's dead. Uh, is that guy? Wait a minute. I guess Glastonbury's a pretty mystical place. Almost too mystical to bear. Joseph of Arimathea journeyed here. Yeah? The tale of King Arthur, Guinevere and Excalibur finishes here. Wow. And the Tor, that big hill, is the gateway to Avalon, the land of fairy. We also get crop circles, UFO sightings. Is that everything? Well, then there's the ghosts, hellhounds, spectral lights. Okay, okay, it's mystical already. Yeah, don't gi give me that uh, dope, uh, dope drugs into my brain. Jesus Christ, I've, I've heard enough. Ghost, good. Uh, Iceman? Good. I mean, Subway? Why not? Something tells me you're not on the level. Who is Bruno? Where can I find him? Wait, what? I don't know who you're talking about. 
Now get out of my shop, you annoying man. Oh, I'll get out. Once you've answered a few questions. Oh, God. You're not a tax inspector, are you? Hell no. I may be a lawyer, but I still got a few shreds of pride left. Are you going to tell me who Bruno is or not? Not. Don't forget, you're dealing with a lawyer here. An American lawyer. I can't see our local Bobby being impressed. This guy was going to be a tougher nut to crack than I thought. Some, is there somebody I'm sorry, Are you? Did you kidnap Bruno? Hey, there's someone moving around up there. Nonsense. It's just an old building. You must think I'm pretty stupid. Bruno's upstairs. No, he's not. <laughs> that's a big flush. I bet that that's a massive shit. Listen, give me Bruno. I kind of need him to help me, ex you know, get some mystical gold stuff. I'll give you one last chance to come clean. Get lost. I was getting nowhere. This was why I was in patents and not criminal law. Fine. I'll eat, uh, what if I... I'm just gonna... <laughs> you don't see me. You don't see me. Hey! Customers are not allowed upstairs! I, I, right. could, I could just force myself in, but I, that'll be breaking and er entering... Entering and uh, harassment. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, what is this? I haven't expected. Miss Granger's perfect potions, love potions, money potions, potions to make you taller. There was something in the small print. Granger Publications cannot take responsibility for side effects or failures in primary potion effects. Guess even witches fear the wrath of the litigation lawyer. Could could she make a potion to make the guy? Come clean and talk to <laughs> talk to me and tell me where the fuck is Bruno is. I need to talk to Bruno. Bruno Estacado. I didn't want the chart. You don't want anything. Oh, so much for fashion. Uh, okay, what else can we do? Wait, let's talk to the beefy man. Maybe he'll help me. Yo, dude. Hello again. That's an interesting shop. The Cosmic Fairy. Place is full of woolly-minded liberals and frou-frou socialists. So I guess you won't be opening a charge account there. Don't be fatuous. But I've got my eye on the place. That Hillage fellow is up to something. What do you think goes on in there? I've been asking around. He used to rent his spare room out. Claims it's empty now. But I've seen a light on him there after he's gone home. Maybe the little people are having a poker game. He's harboring somebody. I bet my wife on it. I'd even bet the dog on it. Then why don't you go in and go upstairs? If he's hiding something, you're the ex-military. You're supposed to be law enforcement or something. I don't know how cops rules works. Just go upstairs. Oh, who the fuck are you? You creepy. You're weird. What the hell? Yeah, first let's go in here. I want to check. This looks interesting and promising. They sure knew how to make doors in this country. I tried to open the door, but it was securely locked. Ah, oh. good. So much for breaking and entering. Uh, what about you? What do you want? There was a guy outside the bar. He looked like he'd failed an audition for our man in Havana. You look promising. Could, sir, could you help me? I'm looking for a Bruno. He's kidnapped in that weird hippie store. If you're not religious, don't mind me. I'm just browsing. Hi, my name's Stobart. George Stobart. How fascinating. Two T's and two B's. You'd be amazed how many people get it wrong. Ah, nothing amazes me these days. Eamon O'Mara. You're Irish? No, no, I'm from Hawaii. The Maui O'Maras. You're not from Hawaii. No. I'm not. I lied. Very astute of you to see through it. You clearly have a lucid and highly rational cognitive process. So what do you want, Mr. Oh, Stobart? Thanks. Good, uh, thanks for the compliment. I'm, I'm very good at uh, finding mysteries and stuff. Even though I'm too dumb for that, but I'm playing this game because it's my childhood game. I love this game so much. Uh, what else can we talk about? Let's, in let's talk about you. 
You sightseeing? I'm researching. Outside a pub? I'm researching the alacrity with which this place opens. In a civilized society, a man should be able to get a drink at this hour. It's ten o'clock in the morning. Precisely. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be up for a drinking in the morning, but I don't drink alcohol. I drink soda. You can't need to drink that much, can you? Ah, uh, now that's a complicated question. Let's discuss it over a beer. Uh, it's too early for me. Very wise. I'll be rattled before me time. Me liver riddled with the cirrhosis. Rattled and riddled. Ah, well. So, what do you do? Um, good morning. I'm Eamon O'Mara, and today I'm in the enchanting town of Glastonbury. I'm sorry, I have no idea what <laughs> you're talking about. Is he drunk? Of course you haven't. Now, wait a minute. I'm here as a professional media Irishman, researching my new BBC program. Oh, you're putting together a TV show? Bingo! Give the man a figurative coconut. I visit villages, interview the local characters, sample the local cuisine. What's the show called? Up Your Alley with Eamon. Nice. And you're doing this place next? That's that finely tuned cognitive process of yours in action again, isn't it? Oh, listen, I'm, I'm a lawyer for a reason. I'm supposed to know everything. And I get... Wait, are lawyers like half detective or something? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're an Irish man in front of a pub, creating a TV show, drinking in 10 o'clock. Not very smart of you, isn't it? How did you get into television? By accident. I was doing a reading at a bookshop in London. This wild-eyed BBC producer wanders in, points at me like I'm the second coming, and says, You'll do, you'll do! <laughs> You're a writer? Wash your mouth out, I'm a poet. Poetry is a gift to the Irish from the gods themselves. Yeats, Wilde, Joyce, Bono. Don't push your luck. I may have the soul of a poet, but I've the fists of a welterweight. My re respect. Can you? I'm. I love. Uh, I love kind of like some poetry, but I'm mostly into dark poetry. Basically, anything kind of depressing, <laughs> depressing and sad moment. But it's good to listen. I like reading those type of poetry. Uh, I made one poet <laughs> poetry at at my school, but. Uh, I kind of was afraid to show it out. Be I might be thinking like for the teacher it may have been too dark for her. So she didn't maybe want me to read it. So I just kept it and just said I just didn't do my work. What else? Have you seen that guy walking up and down? The army type? Mm, kind of Englishman I'm allergic to. Oh? <laughs> Why is that? Wow. Well, if you have a couple of hundred years I'll explain it to you. I'm worried he might be out to kill someone. Ah, now you're beginning to understand my allergy. Wow, you're not... <laughs> Alright, you're not... You're not a fan of Englishmen, got it. We should stay away from English stuff. Uh, well, let's talk about this guy. Have you been in that shop, the Cosmic Fairy? Oh yeah, always go there for me love beads. I was just asking. Not highly fan of the hippie shop. What about this guy? Does this ID card mean anything to you? Oh, it's an unflattering photo. Doesn't look anything like you. That isn't me. No, didn't think so. You're one of those godforsaken photogenic types, aren't you? And no, it doesn't mean anything to me. Makes sense. I can't I can't walk walk around anywhere just by asking people, "Do you know this guy?" <laughs> Wait, does the even the scientist live here? I haven't even got any evidence of <laughs> the scientist dude walking back and forth up and up and down like he lives here. Hmm. What do you think of the town? It's a theme park. So where'd the tourists go? I don't know. Maybe it's out of season for hippies. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Such a dick. Do you know much about this place? It's got half decent pubs when they're open. Oh, I see. You want to know about the fairy stuff, don't you? Fairies? You see that hill? Yeah? Fairies guard King Arthur's sword Excalibur under that. Really? No. <laughs> I mean, it's speak the obvious. It's we're talking about the real world. This isn't a place where fairies. Should, it's Does only this postcard time. mean anything to you? No, should it? I guess not. It was a long shot. Who's Bruno? I wish I knew. Uh, nobody knows who Bruno is, but he seems familiar at the hippie shop. I can't go in there, can I? Yeah, I can't. What else? Anything else? The Yemo in arms. I wasn't leaving until I'd finished what I'd come here to do. Finding Bruno. 
Sorry. Where else can I go? The place looked empty. Okay, what about Zazi Kiosk? I can enter Zazi Kiosk! What the fuck? Oh no, Hi, no. I'm. Nobody tell me. Me a Madam Zazi, me know all. I miss the all. Sit down, you. You have traveled far. Oh, sure. Like my accent was local. You come for the truth. And another no brainer. George Stubar. What? How did you. Me know all. <laughs> Me see all. Okay, I had to admit, that stumped me. Oh, come on, she probably Googled you and you're the popular lawyer. Uh, all right, Mr. Bitchy Fancy Smartass. Let's see what you can do. Uh, do you know Emin Omar? What do your powers tell you about that man outside the pub? Him come from across the sea. Him have strongly held opinions. I can see him that. Him seek knowledge, but not for himself. All that from your crystal ball? No, him just on the telly. That's Eamon O'Mara. Good, good. What about that Englishman? What do you make of that guy pacing up and down the street? His aura glow, red with anger. Kind of matches his nose, then. Him, I lost something dear from himself. And him can't do nothing to prevent it. Well, we all have to let go sometime. Yeah, exactly. Let daughter have sex with some random hippies. It's not that hard. Christ, if they, if she's in love with hippies, go ahead. If she's in love with homeless people, fuck it. Go ahead. I don't care. If she's in love with, you know, let's not go that far. <laughs> let's just keep going. Uh, I haven't even talked about her. Let's just no. Let's just go. What do you know about that shop, the Cosmic Fairy? Them sell candles, incense. Mm hmm But the owner, Tristam Hillich, oh, me know him overwrought. There is anxiety in his aura. Got his karma in a twist, huh? <laughs> I'm just trying to lighten the atmosphere. Yeah, why, why, can't I, why can't I make a few jokes? Why do you have to? Well, what about this? Recognize this postcard? Mm-hmm. It is the tour. These are for CL and the Cosmic Fairy. Yeah, that was where it was bought. I need to find out about who sent it, though. Give it to me now. What? Why? Sometime wow. there is psychic traces. Ew. Me may be able to read the traces left by this Bruno when he wrote upon it. You mean psychic traces? You mean by saliva and fingerprints? forgetting something? Uh, please? You must cross my palm with silver. Oh! Oh, right, sure. Okay, uh, I got a credit card here somewhere. <laughs> me no no accept credit card, you know. I've got some euros, I think. Me no take euros. Hmm, how about doubloons? Uh, Gold ingots? A barter stick? It's only silver me accept, you know. In Glastonbury. I'm sorry. Long time. The tour generate wave of positive energy. And tourist revenue. A girl can't live on good vibrations alone, huh? Oh my god. I mean, no excepto. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what the hell? Now, where can I find silver? Do I have to explore every house? Wait. Mm. Got nothing. can't enter there, uh... Where can I go from here? Wait... Uh... I'm kinda lost right now. I can't enter I cannot enter here, so that means that's off limits. There's gotta be something that we need. Like, I haven't found any items that I can pick up. Okay, wait, let me, let's talk to him. Hello again! Okay. That guy over there looks suspicious to me. Ah, I've seen suspicious, but he isn't it. Oh, so what does suspicious look like? Take a glance in the mirror sometime, young fella. 
You're a bitch, you know? I'm gonna kick in a tiny little ball sack, you circus tree. There's a fortune teller up the street. Maybe you could ask her to help you. How so? Well, you know, she could look in the crystal ball and maybe she... Or, uh, tea leaves. She could read tea leaves. Or tarot cards. They got, like, cool little pictures. You're a rum sort of a fella, aren't you? I'll admit, yeah, I'm kind of took into that bullshit of crystal ball nonsense. That was unreal. Use Google. That's your real psychic power. Hi, Eamon. <laughs> Have you been in the fortune tellers over there? Now, why would I do a thing like that? To talk to the fortune teller. You know, if I wanted my palm read, I'll get my head examined first. You don't seem very open to suggestions for your program. I work best after a couple of stiff drinks. All right. Doesn't like the fortune teller. Can I check the trash? I cannot. But where can I go? The bar is closed. I tried to open the door. But it's locked. The door was locked. It wasn't opening time yet. I mean, most pubs are open at night or middle of the day. I haven't, I haven't been through here. Okay, I cannot. <laughs> where can I go then? Let's go back inside and talk to the hippie. The asshole who looks vicious and me. Maybe might give me something, an idea. Yo, man. I hadn't come here to send postcards. I don't want the postcard, I want to talk to him. Hi again. What do you make of that fortune teller? Madame Zazi. Very traditional. Crystal ball, tea leaves, tarot, the usual. Okay, hey, I'd like to borrow that book. It has silver coin in it. So, can you give me it, please? You say you had trouble getting this published? Publishers? Ha! Philistines, the lot of them. What you need is to raise your profile. Advertise, you mean? Oh, I can't afford that. How about uh, a little spot on the BBC? Eamon O'Mara's new show? That would be marvelous. Oh, but impossible, of course. Ah, don't worry. Eamon and I go, oh, way, way back. At least five minutes. Want me to have a word with him? <laughs> He's right here in Glastonbury. Would you do that? Oh, thanks. Thanks awfully. I'll need to show him some of your work. Yes, of course. Here, take a copy. I'm sure he'll love your stuff. <laughs> thanks. Now they're mine. I'm, I'm, I'll be back. I didn't uh, want the chart. I didn't want the chart either way. Get out the door, you dumb... <laughs> Damn it, potion, brewing stuff, that's for that woman over there. Ball reading shit. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to... Enchanted Avalon, Lays of a Mystical Age. The book of poems was by the guy in the Cosmic Fairy. There were silver coins laminated into the cover. Let's open it. Can we maybe take that? Can't interact with that? Uh, what about shove a pipe in that book? What? Wait. The book of poems was pretty beaten up now. I'd levered the coins from the cover. The three commemorative coins what? had come from the poetry book. You're kidding me. Wait, how am I gonna give him the book back now since I took it off of him? Like, it, I'm gonna show it to that guy either way, and now... Oh no, you messed up, George, and now how are you gonna fix it? You just ruined a perfectly good poetry book that is... Probably... All about myths and poem. Waste of money, two dollars worth. Hi, Eamon. The guy who runs the Cosmic Fairy might be ideal for your show. That old hippie. Oh, I've no time for the 60s. Castan <laughs> stink. Timothy Leary was a turn-off, and I'd rather listen to The Clash than The Beatles any day. I thought you wanted to talk to eccentric characters. Hippies aren't eccentric. They're pathetic. I think this guy's got something. Take a read. Wow. Enchanted Avalon. Lays of a mystical age. Oh, just what I needed. No, read some. You won't be disappointed. If you say so. 
for there is lightning in my blood, my dark Morgana, my own Morgana. It's not bad, is it? No, it isn't. Oh, there was lightning in my blood, red lightning, lightning through my blood. That's beautiful. It is that, just as beautiful as when James Clarence Mangan wrote it about his Rosaline 180 years ago. What? Look at this. The fairies are a silent race, and pale as lily flowers to see. That's Samuel Ferguson. Shameless. Absolutely bloody shameless. Darley. Griffin. Aubrey bloody the ver does his thievery know no bound? Well, he's stolen it all? Every word. Oh, oh, get this. The author reserves the right to be identified as the creator of this work. That guy needs to be bankrupt. The grave robber little toe rag. I'll have him. Jeez, relax, man. Oh, God. Wow, okay, I didn't know the- I didn't know he, he stole all the poetry to himself. <laughs> I bet he searched it on Google, those guys, what they wrote, and he's just pasting into the book like, Yeah, Eureka, I got Good this. morrow, oh. fair traveler. How may I help you? To the island valley of Avilion, where falls not hail, or rain, or any snow, nor ever wind blows loudly, but it lies. I... Beg your pardon? Deep meadowed, happy fair, with orchard lawns and bowery hollows, crowned with summer sea. Uh, that's good. Uh, that's very good. Of course it's good. It's Tennyson, you tofu-chewing twit. From his mort to Arthur. Not the Thomas Mallory one, but we won't hold that against him. Now, do you recall King Mark of Cornwall in that tale? I've read Mallory, yes. But, uh... You'll recall Mark has a big downer on a knight called Tristram, then. Cause Tristram took something that didn't belong to him. Oh, God. You mean Melissa? Look, I, I can explain. No, not Melissa, you aegis. Is old. Now you've completely lost me. I'm talking theft and possession. Possession by the spirits of Mangan. Griffin and Devere, among others. Ah. Yes, ah. Tis a miracle that you've channeled all these great talents into your little book. Just a shame that they ended up repeating themselves from their own Ow. published works. Word for so, bloody so, word. Guys. Wait, I can explain everything. Now, that was my line. It was also my cue to make a move. Good, you explain. And in return, yeah. I'll explain to you the theme of boxing. This, I'm, I'm like George right now. I'm like a five-year-old child staring into my two parents arguing to each other. You should see me when I lose This is the this is the exact moment. What's going on? <laughs> Gosh. Hi. Sorry to just barge in here like this. I could have been getting undressed or anything. Guess we were just lucky then. Or oh, not. What's your name? Uh, George. What's yours? Melissa. Have you come to save me? Wait, what? Wait. Melissa? Melissa Butley? How did you know my name? Well, your dad's stamping up and down the street like Godzilla, except scarier. Daddy? Oh my god, he isn't. Oh my god, he yep. is! Oh, he drives me absolutely <laughs> potty. You have no idea. You know... You remind me of somebody, but I can't put my finger on who. Perhaps we were sweethearts in another age. You know, underneath that brash exterior, you're really rather my type. Yeah, um, well, Nickel is my type. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I want to date you. Sorry, I'm taken. Uh, let's talk about your father since he's going up and down. Actually, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, can I save it? I can't save Crap, this is gonna be a 40 minutes video. <laughs> About your dad. I say, you're not working for him, are you? No. Shame. Nope. I'd come home today if you were the pool boy. I guess your dad's just worried about you. Worried that I might have grown up? Well, he's too late. I have. And I rather like it. You got a boyfriend? You got a girlfriend? Well, uh, not really. Hmm. Interesting. So, you're on the run? Sort of. Your dad's a real ogre. Oh, he's a pussycat. Really? What? The frothing pit bull terrier type of pussycat. So your father looks scary, but on the inside he's like a soft pudding. Good to know.
Why did he kidnap you? You're not Bruno. You don't look like a man. You're not even my type. I prefer Nickel. <laughs> How do you know Tristram? I met him at the festival. Aha. Uh -huh. He read me his poetry. You don't need to tell me the rest. Then he said I could come and stay with him. So I did. You poor kid. Rapist. I want to keep talking about him. You and Tristram, is it serious? Hmm. Tristram is one of a kind. In fact, when I think of him, I go, uh, you know. The poor woman had been duped by Tristram's lies. I couldn't let him mess up her life. And she was bound to find out sooner or later. Look, Melissa, you hardly know me, but some things are better coming from a stranger. Ooh, is that a promise? These poems. Tristram doesn't write them. They're all copies. Well, duh. Obviously. What? I knew that. What? You must think I'm totally dim. No, I just thought he'd trick you, you know, put you under his spell. Oh, uh, you're too sweet. George, are you for real? I don't... You've come to save me. Like a knight in armor. Well, I... that wasn't my original plan, but it became an option. Oh, I could kiss you all over. All right, listen. Hey, steady. <laughs> Remember the Geneva Convention? Who needs it? Relax. I don't take prisoners. I bet. So, BTSM? when did you find out about the poems? From day one. I wrote my thesis at Cambridge on Irish poets of the early 19th century. You're very gifted. Try me. Ha! <laughs> and Tristram doesn't know. But I know. Of course not. Why let a question of authorship get in the way of a good... Yes, why indeed. But, all good things. With Daddy on the trail, I think I'd better split, anyway. Don't suppose you fancy a weekend and... Acapulco. Jeez, I'd love to, but my Acapulco visa ran out just yesterday. No, I didn't get to talk about that Irishman and the city where she lives. What were you doing? Having a little conversation with Melissa. That's private up there. You had no right. Just like you had no right to be seducing that poor girl with stolen poetry. You had no right to interfere. She had a right to know. Oh, no. You haven't told her. Not about the poetry. You can't base a relationship on lies. I have to talk to her. I wouldn't advise it. She needs a little time to herself. Then she's going to stay with friends. I took more than a little pleasure knowing that he was the one who'd been duped. Maybe I should march right outside and tell Melissa's dad about you. Tell him that you've got her upstairs. Yeah. Tell him that you've broken her heart. You yeah, won't. and you raped her. But that poor, innocent kid, I think what it would do to her. Oh, <laughs> you yeah, no, to yeah. Know. Please. Oh, God, no, you wouldn't. He'll kill me. I you're don't breaking care, you're my a hippie. Heart. Oh. On the other hand, yes, yes. You tell me what I want to know, <laughs> and I forget about your house guest. Blackmail <laughs> wasn't really my I'm style. such an asshole. And suddenly, I wasn't so sure who was being duped anyway. Very well. All right, first things first. About Bruno, I kind of need him to investigate about a lost Excalibur treasure. Now will you tell me about Bruno? Well, he, he was here, but he's gone. He upped and went one night. Did he leave anything behind? He was in a hurry. He just grabbed his pathetic belongings, threw them in his bag, and off he went. Well, he must have left something. Nothing worth looking at, believe me. Letters, notes, a phone number? No. He took everything with him. Only... Aha! So he did leave something. Well, yes. But what good is an old pair of pants to you? Pants? Give them to me. I found them <laughs> in the laundry pile after he'd vermoosed. Did you examine them? No. What kind of a chap do you think I am? Excellent. Come on, let me see them. You're a sick man. <laughs> what are you waiting Gotta for? Gotta give me the pants. Oh, yeah, the pants. <laughs> oh, man, these aren't pants. Yes, they are. No, they're not. These are shorts. What are you? Some kind of underwear detective. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, heck. I'll take them anyway. Ew. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> you know that. Hi again. No, I don't want to talk to you. Can I go back upstairs? I haven't done talk to Melissa. It wouldn't have looked good if I'd gone upstairs when Melissa was supposed to be heartbroken and wanting to be left alone. Wait, what? She looked happy and dang dangled when she saw me. Like a knight. Can't check the shorts. <laughs> oh my god. That's not pants! What the fuck? What type of hippie art artist are you? 
You see underwear pants? What do you, what do you think I'm wearing right now? At some leggings? Jesus Christ. Let me have a look at the this The shorts underwear. belong to Bruno. I didn't want to examine them too closely. Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> let's examine it too closely. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make... <laughs> oh, God, no. No, no, I'm done. I'm done. Let's just give the underwear to that black... Black woman, whatever. I forgot her name. Such a dick. Where's the father? I'm still gonna tell him. <laughs> he has no right to kidnap the lady. Wait, what? Where did everyone go? Ah, who cares? <laughs> hey, lady, I got the silver coin and some underwear. Hi again. So, here's your silver coin. Here, let me cross your palm with silver. Have a look at this postcard, please. Ooh, ah, ah, I see a man. A man. Well, that narrows it down. A man. Bruno. Glien from danger. Him nearby and yet. There was nothing she couldn't have picked up from reading the card itself. No. The psychic imprint is too faint. Too many others have handled this card. Your own imprint is much more distinct. Oh? You'll be going on a long journey. Terrific. Oh, really? Am I going to come back? Perhaps, uh, perhaps not. I need something much more personal to this Bruno if you want a better reading. Oh. <laughs> uh. Could you smell this underwear for me? I try to smell it myself, but it smells like Taco Bell. Okay, let me cross your palm with silver. Again. I'd like you to look at some boxer shorts. Now just wait a minute. I don't want no funny stuff. No, seriously. I want you to use that psychic hoodoo on him. Very well. <laughs> Do I look joking How to you? you know my smell name? my underwear. Is that a psychic flash? <laughs> a lot. When you were talking to Eamon O'Mara, me was standing in my own doorway. Me overheard your name when you was introducing yourself. Ah, cunning. Well, that's how you... The... Uh, item of apparel, please. Are you kidding? <laughs> Getting anything? Apart from nauseated? Cha, no, me sorry. <laughs> What the f- Whoa! Oh, no! What? What can you see? Dragon fire! No! A man and a dragon seek his death. He only has minutes Whoa, to live. relax, lady. <laughs> it's just an underwear. Oh, the flames. No! No, the f- Madam Zazie? Madam Zazie? <laughs> she was out cold, but okay. I must admit, sometimes my shorts had the same effect on women. <laughs> if she was right, Bruno would be dead soon. I had to act fast. But how? I didn't even know where he was. Listen, I know people get can pass out when they see some cooch on women, but luckily, passing I got out. A hint. Come on, I've been recording for an hour almost. No, we're saving. We're saving. God damn. Passing out from an underwear, maybe a strong stench would make sense, but Christ! You just touched Bruno's underwear, and you call that a, like, an apocalyptic world? Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here. <laughs> Had enough. I've seen too much drugs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment below, watch your play next, subscribe, and ring the bell notification button if you want to see more videos later. Never miss out. And yeah, nothing interesting happened, all just commotion talk about poetry and some fairies hoppet reference. The guy stole, you know what, yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> see ya.